Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your pal and possible. I'm here today. We're checking out a game called Yare.io. Uh, this is a game you play in your browser. It's a coding game. Uh, based on, well, you can read it right here. Real-time strategy game where you control units by writing JavaScript code. That's right. This uses real programming language stuff going on here. And I have not actually looked at JavaScript since I played Screeps like five years ago, but I'm sure we'll make it through this. It can't be that hard. We're going to go through the tutorial here, see what's going on. But basically, it's a 1v1 game where, you know, they, they run your, your code along with the other guy's code and the server at the same time. And you just say, you know, who wins, essentially. Uh, Yard.io is a game where you control your units, spirits with JavaScript. To start, type s1.move star dot blah, blah, blah dot position into the code. Okay, well, you know, if you... They're going to give me the copy button. I'm just going to copy that in there. There we go. I'm not a big fan of just, you know, typing things bl blindly, but, you know, they kind of do that. Oh, it looks like they have uh, hints here for you, which is pretty handy. Pretty handy to have this kind of stuff built in, especially if you're using their uh, the browser as an IDE. It's, you know, it's good to have at least some kind of, some kind of functionality there. Let's go ahead and hit send code. Well done. So it looks like we sent our little guy here down here to uh, get the star and get stuff, I assume. Uh, well done. The star is using the move method to get to the star. Sorry, the spirit, not the star. And uh, the energize is the other important method in the game. It tells your spirit where to transfer energy. Add S1 to energize S1 to your code. Okay. So basically what's going on here is we're telling a guy, okay, move to the star. And once you get to the star, transfer energy from the star to yourself. As far as I can tell, that is what's going on. Let's go ahead and update code here. Are we starifying? Yeah, look, we have a little beam there uh, doing stuff. And uh, let's see here. Nice. The spirit is now harvesting energy. Each spirit has a few properties that can, you can access to use to make decisions. Uh, try it out. Check whether the spirit's energy is equal to its energy capacity. If yes, move it back to the base. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy this. Move on down here. So basically, you know, every every single action, we're telling him to move and then energize himself. And eventually he has to have, you know, he has to be full, right? I mean, it just makes sense. Actually, you know what? I want to put this up here. I don't know if they'll let me do it. Can I get rid of that? Yeah, we, we, I mean, honestly, we, we should check if we're full before we do the moving and gathering energy stuffs. That just seems like the uh, logical way to do things. And uh, there we go. Looks good. Let's go ahead and hit. Let's go ahead and hit play here. Uh, we're going to need uh, an else code here because they're going to try to do it all at once. So it's not going to quite work. Did I not hit update code? I could have swore I did. Oh, do I? Do I? Add, all right. Maybe I have to add the uh, the else in here. Like I said, I have not used JavaScript in a long time. There's going to be weird uh, syntax errors and such. I am sure of it. My apologies. That should work, I think. Uh, hold on. Oh, I have to add brackets. I shall add brackets then. Consider it bracketed. Does that make it happy? I'm trying to see where the brackets come from. Okay, I'm, I'm wrapping the if statement. Okay, I'm sorry. I, uh, I need brackets for the whole thing. There we go. And no brackets here. And bracket there, I think. Does that work? Like that? Is that how Java, uh, JavaScript wants it? It is! We did a thing! It works! All right, so it looks like our guy was uh, full of energy, which uh, I guess he tops out at 50. And he's going to go back to uh, the base over here. And uh, let me see. Good. You'll notice a problem. When the spirit transfers a little bit of energy to the base, the if statement returns false. The code runs top to bottom every second, and the command to energize the base is ignored. Let's fix this by using the memory object to store the spirit's activity. Memory is nothing more than an empty pre-declared object. Add this to your code. Oh, so I'm guessing we're just going to straight up replace everything here, I, I, I'm assuming? Um... Yeah, it looks like we're, we're going to straight up, like, replace everything here. If energy equals one, energy capacity, charging, else, blah, blah, blah. All right, well, let's just, like, throw this down here and see what happens. Like, if I'm charging or if I'm not, I'm going to do other things. And uh, do I still need my other thing here? I don't know that I do. 
Yeah, I don't think I need these in here anymore. I think I just need these. The new code, the new hotness that they uh, hand-delivered us. Did I break it? No, it seems to be. Did I do things wrong? I may have done things wrong. The world may very well be ending. There we go. Actually, uh, it just it just took a moment for it to uh, complete its action. I kept looking at him like, I don't think I did anything wrong. And it just took him a while to come over here and actually dump off all his energy. So things all went well. Uh, perfect. Now the spirit is properly harvesting energy from the star and giving it to the base. Once your base's energy reaches 100, it will be used to automatically create a new spirit. Uh, while you wait for that to happen, feel free to zoom in and out and pan around with your mouse. You're not alone. There is an enemy in the bottom right corner of the map. Well, how do I how do I click sign them? Okay, I can click and drag. So there's an enemy down here doing stuff. I don't I don't like him. I I don't trust him at all. He's uh, he's obviously mean and uh, evil. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. All right, so apparently we're just gonna have to sit here for a while. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I was gonna play and start upgrading things, but honestly, it, it might screw up the tutorial. So I'll just sit here. We'll wait this out. And I'll be right back. All right, we made ourselves another little blob. A new spirit, S2, was born. Now you have two spirits to harvest the energy. Instead of copying the entire code for the other spirit, you might want to create a loop. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. And instead of referring to your spirits of S1, S2, S3, let's use my spirits array that contains all your living spirits. Uh, try writing this code on your own, or copy and replace your entire code with a possible solution. Hmm... Okay, well, let, let's uh, let's first move this stuff down because we're going to write a for loop of some kind. So I, I get bored of just copying their code after a while. I have to write my own code. If I don't, I'm going to go crazy. So let's work on that. Uh, let's use my spirits. So we're going to say something like for I in my spirits. Am I doing something wrong already? It's quite possible. And we're probably going to want to... This is when it would help to actually know JavaScript, if I'm being honest. We're going to get this set up real quick. And then I'm probably going to have to fix thing. Uh, I'm going to... I need like a, a len. Uh, maybe it's my spirits dot len dot range. It's going to be something like this. That counts. That might be it. No, I don't I don't think that's it. We, we, can, we, can, we can just give that a shot. And then uh, basically we're just going to run this code right here. So let's go ahead and copy that. Throw it here. And then we're going to have to fix some formatting apparently. There we go. So let's say my spirits. Instead of all these ones where you say S1, S1 and we're calling things directly. Basically we're going to say my spirits uh, index I. Uh, for all these things. So let's go ahead and in here. Can I zoom in? There we go. I feel like we can actually see a little bit now. I thought that might be nice. So let's go with my spirits I, which is the iterator we're making here. I'm pretty sure I did that wrong and I'm going to have to mess with it later, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> live coding is going to do silly things like that. So now basically what I'm going to do is I'm just, wherever it says S1, I'm just going to say my spirits I because we're referring to whatever spirit is in whatever index this list is. So we're going to go here. There we go. Anything else? S1 to energy, memory, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure it is going to be just as simple as pasting this stuff in here. But if it doesn't work, you know, we, we can we can mess with it and see what's going on afterwards. It's not the end of the world. Coding is basically just a whole lot of iterations. You have a basic idea of what you're going to do. You hit run. It screws up some way, somehow. And then you just, you know, you got to keep fixing it. And eventually it runs without any errors, essentially. Uh, let's just see what happens. Does it give me any kind of contacts? It would be, nice be nice if it gave me the errors here. Hold on. Let me, let me go figure out what I can figure out. All right, I think I, I think I finally got the uh, for loop working properly. Let's see if that works now. 
Do things magically work? There we go. We got it figured out. Well done. All your spirits now automatically harvest energy. But wait, you're under attack. Oh, no. The spirits and, and the base have a sight property that contains other objects within 400 radius. What's stored in sight are the ideas, IDs rather, not the objects themselves. You can access the actual spirit object with spirit's ID. One spirit should be enough to deal with the invader. Add this to the end of your code. So if base that site, okay, so basically if the, uh, if the base sees something, so basically this is a list of all the things it sees. And if there's more than, you know, zero, which means there's an enemy, uh, we're targeting the invader. And if we have enough energy, hold on. If energy is uh, greater or equal than 20, all right, we're setting the uh, idea of the attacker in our memory so that we keep attacking him. And then uh, if memory blah, blah, blah equals attacker, we're going to move to that attacker and attack them. Fair enough. We could, we could do that. We're just going to go ahead and throw this on to the end. Are they just wanting to do this with the... Uh... Yeah, they just want us to do this with the first one. All right. I was going to see if we wanted to add that into the for loop, but apparently not. Apparently not. Let's go ahead and update the code and see what it says. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. Did we, did we kill a dude? Okay, yeah. All right, we're going back to our base. We're going to kill the dude. He's going to die. Let's watch the battle. Take this thing. I imagine we're going to shoot like an energy beam at him of some sort. Come on. No? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, kill the guy. Yeah, take that. Can't handle that. Uh, amazing. Now you should have a solid grasp of the game's mechanics. You can always learn more in the documentation. To conclude the tutorial, attack the enemy base with all your spirits by adding at the end or replacing your entire code with, uh, for I, okay, so basically, go kill enemies with all of our guys. Yeah, pr pretty much. Uh, make sure that if they don't have enough energy to destroy the base, uh, you can always use the star elk next to enemy base to harvest energy. So basically, you know, go kill them with our, with our stuffs. Fair enough. I think what I'm going to do, instead of using this uh, charging command, I'm just going to rewrite it a little bit. Uh, well, we could probably get rid of this right here, but for right now, I'll leave it. Uh, we're going to rename this. Well, we don't have to rename it, but it'd be confusing if we left it as it is. We're going to name this as attacking. And we're going to go ahead. It would be nice if I could rename that everywhere, but, you know, this isn't a proper IDE, so I'll have to live with it. Okay, so if I'm attacking... Basically, I want to come over here and run the attack command that they just gave me somewhere. There we go. So if we're attacking, do this instead of what we were doing. Oh, God, I made a mess. Messes has been made. Let's, uh, let's clean up a little bit. So get rid of this for loop. Put this over. There we go. That should be... They should be functioning. There's the conditional. We just have to run for clarity's sake. I'll just throw that over there. And you, I feel like you have an extra thing there. I don't think you belong there. Uh, that looks like a thing. I think that should function. You're not quite, I, I come, I do a lot of Python where uh, white space actually matters. So things not being lined up right kind of drives me a little crazy. Uh, so right now, what we've done is, basically, I set this up here, so whenever we get full, we change to attacking mode, and whenever we run out, we go to harvesting mode. And uh, so now, if we are in attacking mode, we just go to their base and we attack their energy base. Uh, when we run out of, you know, stuff, we go into harvesting mode, so on and so forth, and uh, that should do it. That should, I mean, assuming I didn't break things, that should function. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Where's our duders at? I don't see our duders. Let's zoom out a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that we uh, we just went ahead and killed the other guy and then the game is pissed off at us. Uh, there doesn't seem to be, you know, a continue kind of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know what else to do. There, there's no more stuff. The screen is glitching out. It's angry at us. I can't even find stuff anymore. It's like I can zoom in. There should be a base like over here, I think it was. And uh, it's not there anymore. Our base is no longer there. There's no more creatures around or no more spirits around. So I'm going to go ahead and say we probably finished the tutorial and it just doesn't uh, exit properly. Anyway, guys, this is a free game. If you guys want to try it out for yourselves, you can make your own scripts. 
you can run it on their servers and play against other people and just see who's the most awesomest coder in the universe. Be the one coder to rule them all. Uh, this game is Yerd.io. Uh, no, that's the actual, normally I say I have a link down in the description. This is the actual link right here, Yerd.io. So, you know, if you're interested, there it is. You guys are into this kind of stuff? Uh, this is generally along the lines of things I do. I do a lot of logic type stuff in games. I don't normally do full on coding stuff, but you know, it, it seems somewhat up my alley. I thought you guys might be interested. If you guys new to this channel, you're into this kind of stuff, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that bell icon so you know when to put out new content. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.